Hey guys, it's Sara. I'm here to talk about some products. Today we have old and new, so let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is our SparkFun XB Explorer module. This is an RS-232 to serial base unit. It works with all XB modules. With this module, an XB, and an RS-232 cable, you can access all the serial pins on your XB. This also supports DTR communication, so you can reprogram and configure the XB module. Next up, we've got two new products this week. The first of which is the BME-280, which is an atmospheric sensor that does humidity, pressure, and temperature. Some upsides of this is that it's really accurate. It has to be really accurate temperature-wise because it's taking those temperature and calibrating the humidity and pressure from it. Some nice things about this is it's really small, so it's easy to fit into projects. Again, it's highly accurate, and it has fast response times and takes very low power. Hi, my name is Marshall Taylor, and I'd like to talk about the BME 280 Breakout Board, a new product from SparkFun. This is a pressure sensor and humidity sensor intended to be used in atmospheric-like conditions, so it's good for 30,000 to 110,000 pascals. I've got a couple of sketches I've used to demonstrate it. The difficulty of working with pressure and humidity is very hard to test it, so what I'm going to do is place one inside of this bottle and pressurize it with my lungs. The pressure at sea level is about 101 kilopascals, but we're about a mile up, so we're at 84. We start off at regular atmospheric conditions for our altitude. The pressure went up to about 94, and if we consult with Wikipedia, we see the lungs can only produce about 10 kilopascals, so that's about right. And the humidity jumped up as well. This is all as we expect. I like data, so I made a graph of what it looks like graphed over time. Here's another sketch I wrote that allows me to measure the change in altitude. I have a button here that allows me to zero the reading at one location so that I can move it to a new location and measure the change in altitude. Here, I'll use it to measure my height. It's difficult to measure pressure, but the BME 280 does a good job of it. It's accurate up to about three feet. Here at SparkFun, some of our favorite products are the ones that we've worked on with an outside collaborator. This time around, we've worked with Dan Julio at Dan Julio Designs to make the touch pot. The touch pot board is a capacitive touch-based potentiometer, so it acts just like a normal mechanical potentiometer, except that in order to uh, move the wiper up and down, you just move your finger up and down the board. There are also a number of status LEDs that show you the position of the wiper on the potentiometer. The other nice thing about this board is that because it's uh, controlled with a microcontroller and has a separate digital potentiometer, it can not only emulate a regular mechanical pot, but it can also output PWM signals and serial communication. So you could hook this up to an Arduino or an Embed or an Edison or anything like that, and you would be able to send the position of the touch pot to that microcontroller without having to read it like it was a potentiometer using an ADC. To show you kind of how this thing works, I've put together a demo here, which is a dimmable desk lamp. It's just one of these touch pot boards with power coming in, and I've actually taken a 9 volt wall wart and I'm regulating it down to 5 volts to supply the logic for this board using a voltage regulator. And then I'm taking the 9 volts from the wall wart and feeding it up to one of our Femtobuck LED controllers. And then I have a 3 watt warm white LED connected to the Femtobuck. I'm controlling the brightness of the femtobuck by running the PWM signal out of the touch pot into the femtobuck so that as I move my finger up and down the touch pot, the LED gets brighter and dimmer. And to turn it off, I just go all the way up to the top. And lastly, I'd like to talk about some older products from Atlas Scientific. They do water monitoring, environmental monitoring sensors, and they are really, really great. They're known for how highly accurate and, and wonderful their sensors are. Right here I've got the pH kit, um, which comes with everything that you'd need to get started and a really nice chip to get you integrated with a microcontroller. It has example code to get you started. The other kits that they have is their dissolved oxygen sensor and their electric conductivity sensor. And these, I couldn't recommend them more highly. They're one of my favorite things to use. And if that's what you're looking for, these are kind of top of the line.